What's going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Your Mint Condition and today join me for my top 10 essential buys, recommended buys, or recommended reads for the month of November. Let me tell you, this month was really hard to stick the freaking top 10. I should have expanded it to 15, but no, I'm a man of my word. Top 10! Welcome back everybody. Before getting started, a big thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Could not be doing this without you all. So if you want to check out our Patreon, the description of this video has a link to our Patreon and we have many tiers there to meet your needs, as my wife would like to say. All right, so five weeks in November. This made it really hard because there's a lot of books I wanted to add. Like you should definitely get this. I mean, I think it goes without saying if you haven't picked up Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 1 or Spider-Man Volume 3, you should definitely get those, those reprints. See what I did there? But no, I'm sticking to 10, just 10. All right, 10, we can do this. And let me know by all means what your top 10 would be. If you had to stick to 10, it's hard. All right. First one on the list, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Necessary Evil, the deluxe edition. Not a fan of Power Rangers, the show when I was a kid. I just collected the giant robots when I got older because, hey, I like giant robots. But the comics really, really got me. I thought they were so awesome. Uh, the first one, the first two years were great all the way up until Shattered Grid. Uh, kind of the, the last volume that came out was okay, but this one again I've heard a lot of uh, people that still read it have told me that it gets really good So this collects Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 40 through 47 and Go Go Power Rangers 21 through 28 still no sign of a Go Go deluxe edition though that which really sucks This one is $75 and it has 496 pages again. It's one of those big deluxe editions from Boom Studios and if you know the nightmare that has been <laughs> <laughs> something is killing the children's slipcase you may want to try to get this the first week justice league the dark the, the justice league the dark just justice league dark the new 52 omnibus of course i'm recommending this 100 have a beautiful cover here by michael jen jenin uh peter milligan jm demateus oh my gosh this stuff it's a huge book 1648 pages 150 dollars collecting justice league dark zero through 40 annuals one and two Futures and 1, Constantine 5, 9 through 12. So all the crossovers are in here. I am I Vampire 7 and 8, Justice League 22 and 23, Justice League of America 6 and 7, New 52 Free Comic Book Day Special Number 1, Trinity of Sin Pandora 1, 2, and 3, as well as 6, 7, 8, and 9. Wonder why 4 and 5 aren't in there. Oh, wait, I think they were in another uh, collection. Trinity of Sin Phantom Stranger Number 11 and... 14 and 17 the this is a huge book i've i've seen pictures online of the creators that have already gotten their copies so uh, i'm super excited for this one it's it's a can't miss this was a very underrated new 52 series demon slayer the complete box set and this has volumes 1 through 23 of every single story in here by koyoharu gotoge and the reason I'm picking this is because my daughters and I have been watching the anime, and I've had this on pre-order. Right now, it's unavailable because that's the way these box sets have been. You know, with everything going on with the printing and the docs, it's best to try to get the pre-orders in. But this did tell me that they were going to keep reprinting this as soon as it's available or as soon as they can. But the reason I picked this up was because I haven't read a single volume. I know a lot of my viewers have uh, told me to check it out, but I really enjoyed the anime, so... Let's see what the original inspiration for the anime was like, and I really dig the artwork. So, of course, I'm getting this. This is complete, and because of the manga box bug that I caught, Transformers, the IDW collection. Phase 3, Volume 1, kicking off a new era. This is the revolution stuff. I'll be doing an advance uh, look at this sometime in the near future. We have a Volume 2 coming out with Starscream's face on it. I... Big fan of the cover here, but what I was going to say, I love Windblade. This collects Revolution issues 0 through 5, Transformers till all are 1, uh, Transformers, Action Man, Transformers more than meets the eye. Those are all Revolution one-shots, by the way. And till all are 1 issues 5 through 8, as well as Revolutionaries 1 through 4 miniseries. Upgrade Soul, the Collector's Edition. This is the hardcover, and... I, I, this was one of my favorite reads in 2020. 
This has 296 pages. It does have some additional extras, and I hope the dimensions are bigger. Ezra Clayton Daniels, oh my gosh, this was a masterpiece. This is my kind of, this is the reason why I keep reading comics. It was phenomenal. Uh, Sci-fi with a little bit of horror. I don't even want to tell you what it's about if you don't know anything about it. It's wonderful, it's creepy, and to me it's beautiful. I loved it. I can't wait to have that. Animosity, the Omnibus Edition. So, I love this series. This was one of my hidden gems. I think it was a hidden horror gem last year. And when I found out that they were doing an Omnibus of Years 1, 2, and 3, I was like, yes. And they're also doing an Evolution. And I haven't read any of those issues yet. But Marjorie Bennett, Rafael de la Torre, uh, just coming together. All 28 issues of, are in here as well as the Animosity Tales and the Free Comic Book Day from 2019. Um, it is a little pricey, though. It is $125. And, the you know... It, but, I mean, most Omnis these days are, right? 125 to 150 But absolutely recommending that. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of expensive, the Complete Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck Deluxe Edition. This is $250, so... This has to mean something for you. This 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 is one of my favorite top ten favorite stories of all time, and I have to own it in the best possible format. Big shout out to Mike for sending me the artist edition. Uh, this is my favorite story of Scrooge McDuck. If you don't know anything about Scrooge McDuck, this is all you need. Uh, Ducktail episodes were based on this. This has 568 pages. Comes in a two volume slipcase edition. It's supposed to be deluxe edition, so pretty big. I don't know how big. Probably not as big as the Artist Edition, but oh my gosh, I can't wait to have this in my hands. So, man, that that, that, that week is going to be rough. Once in Future, Book 1, Deluxe Edition. Both the Deluxe Edition and the Slipcase are coming out the same day, collecting Once in Future 1-18 through 18 by Kieran Gillen and Dan Mora. Now, as I was saying with the Power Rangers, with the Nightmare that was the Slipcase issue, the final cutoff date for this one also had the same issue, so... Make sure you've got yours pre-ordered is what I'm trying to get at. That, you know, you got it locked in because I'm sure they will reprint it because they will see the, you know, the demand because they saw the demand for something is killing the children. Um, but yes, and there's a $20 price, twenty price difference between the deluxe edition and the slipcase. Batman by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, Omnibus Volume 2. Remember when there was a time that we all thought this is incoming? What's going on, DC? It's finally coming, guys. 928 pages, $125, collecting Batman 34 through 52. So, um, collecting those the last part of the New 52 era, Detective Comics 27, Annuals 3 and 4, Futures End number 1, Sneak Peek of Batman 1, which was co-written by um, Tom King. Detective Comics 1000 and Batman Last Night on Earth 1, 2, and 3. I remember when I was doing an overview of that, when DC uh, used to, you know, return my calls and say, what's up, Omar? But anyway, um, I remember doing an overview of Last Night on Earth and I said, huh, maybe that's why we don't have an Omnibus Volume 2 yet, because they're going to add this as the bookend to that Omnibus. And sure enough, they did. So happy for that. And the last book that I am definitely recommended, both covers, but try to get the Omar cover because, you know, it's badass and that is x-man mutant massacre omnibus the reprint in case you missed it the first time around try to get this one 952 pages 125 dollars collecting uncanny x-man 210 to 219 annual number 11 x factor 9 through 17 annual 2 new mutants 46 thor 373 and 374 as well as 377 and 378 power pack 27 daredevil 238 fantastic four versus the x-man 1 through 4 it's the one with what if Reed Richards was a prick. X Men versus the fan or versus the Avengers one through four. Oh, such a good story. Uncle Raj did not get to finish that one though. But anyway, um, this is this is this is the crossover that started all crossovers for the X Men. This is the big one. This is the one that Marvel saw. Huh? We could probably do this every summer, and sure enough, they did. So again, both covers, and I call it the Omar cover, but it's the. Alan Davis cover, come on, uh, to issue 213. Look at that rage and brutality, man. It's so awesome. I love that cover. Um, both covers are great, but this one is just, that's the one that, that that's one of my favorite covers of X-Men of all time. Uh, but yes, this is where the um, Marauders come into the sewers and they start killing a bunch of Morlocks, so the X-Men have to go down there and help them. During this time, Storm's the leader of the X-Men and the Marauders, so it's her people 
getting killed. And I'm sorry, she's the leader of the X-Men and the Morlocks, not the Marauders. Marauders do have a leader, but he's not seen until issue 221. Um, and it all leads into that particular era. And that era and that issue are all going to be collected in the X-Men Fall of the Mutants omnibus. But yes, this is the Mutant Massacre. This is where you see X-Factor coming into the sewers. Thor going in there and helping out. Power Pack helping out. The New Mutants coming in for just one issue and then being told to go home. But anyway, I love this crossover. It's the one that kicked it all off. So of course I'm recommending it. And that is my list. So when these books do come out, check out our sponsors. If you live in Europe and are interested in pre-ordering or purchasing Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC big books within the EU. Flat shipping of 990 euro for EU countries. Extremely careful and sturdy packaging. Emails are answered within 24 hours. And they have a superb selection of new releases and out-of-print books on their website. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code NEARMINCONDITION, all one word, at the checkout for free shipping to all EU countries with your first order. Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They are making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order this promotion is valid for u.s customers only cheap graphic novels your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more now that was my top 10 recommended buys essential buys or must read for this month oh my gosh this was hard i wanted to include so many more by all means please let me know what you would have included in the comment section what you agree what you've never read that i'm recommending i'd love to know that or what you've read recently that you're like man omar you should definitely check this out again this was the uncanny omar thank you all so much for watching smash that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet ring that bell for notifications and more importantly all of you stay healthy stay safe much love <laughs>